Hello everyone, I am Rashmi here. In this video, I am going to talk about synthetic fibers and plastics. In this video, I am going to talk about fiber, kinds of fiber, advantages and characteristics, disadvantages, plastics, its characteristics, plastics as a material of choice, plastics and environment. First, we will discuss what is fiber. Fiber is a thin thread of natural and artificial substance like cotton and jute. In this picture, we can see. Fibers are of two kinds, natural fibers and artificial fibers. Fibers which are obtained from plants and animals are known as natural fibers. Example, cotton, jute, wool and silk. This is an example of wool fiber. Artificial fibers. Fibers which are synthesized by men using chemicals in laboratory are known as synthetic fibers. Example, rayon, nylon, they are made of petrochemicals. Now we will discuss about the polymer. This one bead in the necklace is known as monomer. And the, all, the garland with the beads is known as polymer. Thus, we can say a polymer is an aggregated structure consisting of numerous small simple molecules of one or more kind. Cellulose is a natural polymer occurring in the wall of plant cell. Its simple unit is glucose. Types of synthetic fiber, rayon, nylon, polyester, acrylic. Ryan, it is made from pure cotton or wood pulp. Its fibers are long, smooth and shiny. They have same properties that of silk. It sheds dirt easily. It is a good conductor of heat and cool to wear. It can be mixed with the cotton to make bed sheets and can be mixed with wool to make carpets. This is an example of rayon. Nylon. It was the first fully synthetic polymer developed simultaneously in New York and London. That's why its name is nylon. Nye from New York and lawn means lawn from London. It was prepared from coal, water and air. It, its fibers resemble silk fiber. It is water resistant. It is very strong, tough, hard and water resistant. It is used for making ropes for rock climbing, for fishing nets and parachutes. This is a picture of nylon. Now polyester. Terylene and acrylic are synthetic fiber called polyesters. They are used for clothes. Uh, cartons and dress materials. Terylene blended with cotton is called terricot and it blended with wool is called terry wool. The fibers of polyester are long and smooth. These fibers do not absorb stains and easily washable. They are crease proof and may be used as wash and wear clothes. They are not suitable in summer as they do not absorb water and do not allow the air to pass through. This is a picture of polyester fiber. Now, acrylic. These fibers resemble natural wool. They are highly durable and affordable. This is a picture of acrylic. Characteristics of synthetic fiber, advantages, they dry up quickly, durable, less expensive, readily available and easy to maintain. They melt on heating. Disadvantages, if it catches fire, they can melt and stick to body of the person wearing it. Plastic. Plastic is a polymer like synthetic fiber. All plastics do not have the same management of monomer units. Some have linear or some have cross-linked arrangement. 
This is linear arrangement and this is cross-linked arrangement in a polymer. They can be easily molded, recycled, reused, colored, melted and rolled into sheets and made into wires. Polythene. Poly plus ethane is a plastic which is used for making commonly used polythene bag. Thermoplastics. Plastics can be easily deformed on heating and bent are known as thermoplastics, example polythene and PVC. They are used for toys, combs and containers. Thermosetting plastics. Thermosetting plastics, plastics which once molded cannot be softened by heating are called thermoplastics, example bakelite and melamine. Plastics as a matter of choice. Plastics are non-reactive. They do not react with air, water and do not corrode easily. So they are used to store various materials including many chemicals. Plastics are light, strong and durable. They are cheaper than metal. Moreover, higher strength and lightweight makes plastic a better choice for industries and household articles. They are poor conductor of heat and electricity. The handles of screwdrivers and handles of frying pans are the examples. And Teflon is a special plastic on which water and oil do not stick. It is used for non-sticking coating on cookwares. Plastics and environment. Biodegradable. The materials which get gets decomposed through natural processes such as action by Bacteria and other microbes like fungi are known as biodegradable materials. Non-biodegradable, the materials which are not easily decomposed by natural processes are known as non-biodegradable materials. Plastics are non-biodegradable because they take several years to decompose, thus cause environment pollution. So, plastics and synthetic fibers are not environmental friendly. How can we reduce use of plastics? Avoid using plastics as much as we can. Recycle plastics waste like thermoplastics. Segregate biodegradable and non-biodegradable. The best way is to follow five principles namely reduce, reuse, recycle, recover and refuse. If you have any doubts or queries, feel free to contact me through my email. Thank you everyone.